Hello guys, Zeb from New Zealand. Um, today I have got a MacBook A1502 which is board number is 8204924. This MacBook is one of those MacBooks which um, uh, you plug in the chargers and you have got the green light and then you have got the yellow light that means adopter sense is working. The half of the mechanism is working to turn on the MacBook but it's still fan is not spinning and it's not turning on. So this is, if you're repairing MacBook, you might uh, come to this sort of problem. So, so what does that mean? It means that uh, half, half of the mechanism is working, but CPU is not turning on. So I will show you here. So this is MacBook A1502, MacBook Pro. I think that's 2015. So this sort of problem you can have on newer MacBooks and uh, the newer ones, the latest one, they have got Type-C charging port, which is got, uh, uh, you have to use Type-C amp meter to check it. But these, if you look here, see, um, so green and then yellow, and um, that means, and if we put it here, multimeter, and if we check if we are getting any Um, volts on the DC terminal which is here so, so we have got 13 and uh, we should have 16 here which means you know so there's nothing wrong with the DC jack and but why it's still not turning on so why it's still not turning on so, so the first thing uh, in any um, dead MacBooks is uh, to check the first of all check the power rails which are always present so let's go here and uh, where is my okay so this one is 8204924 which is 2224924 Yep, this one here and let's open the semantic diagram and then from here we will just search for the rails and CPU V core this is um, 1.05 1.8 could be 1.2 and 1.5 so let's make it a little bit bigger here so I mean, um, if PP3V3 volt is not line present, you might not get that um, yellow light on, you might not get that green light. If uh, PP5 volt line is not present or if there is a short on that line, you might not get that yellow and green. But we are getting a sense adopter here. So your board is sensing the adopter that it's connecting, but it's still it's not turning on. This is where you have to directly look for CPU V core rails. So this one is PPVCC underscore SU underscore. So let's open the board view. Uh, I hope I'm showing you the desktop here. That's right. So let's go here. Oh, where is it here? And so, okay, so, so this is the board here. And what we are looking for here is, as I told you before, that PPVCC underscore SU underscore. Okay, let's write here and, okay, so PPVCC underscore see it's here so and go search so if we search so it's showing us where this um, the net of this pp vcc underscore su underscore cpu is, is so this is you know a bit simple so this is where we should get uh, 1.5 or to wake up the cpu so let's check what uh, so this is l7320 so L7320 on the board we will find, I will bring you under the microscope here. Yeah. 
turn on the light. Okay, so I'm trying to find, maybe I can put you here. Okay, I will turn this on. And then now what I'm looking for is put this here. And then, okay, so again, come here. So, so this is uh, R7320. Okay, so okay, so this is all by the CPU. Let's try from which is the biggest one? This one here. Okay, let's try here. So this is what is it? So what's the part number? PPVC here. So this ground and ground and there we should get just by the CPU if I go here okay and uh, now I will take you to the camera where I'm trying to find this part and maybe it's just under here okay let me go back and check where the location exactly is so this is the one and maybe this is okay let's come back here under the microscope so, so i'm just removing this okay i have to cut it through i think this is the part here and is it what is it it's a uh, rc1031 and I should get 1.5 volt here. Okay, let's check. 1.5 volt here. If we're getting 1.5 volt here, where is the ground here? So as you can see, nothing. It's zero. So I would say from the experience, my assumption was right so this is to wake up the cpu so that hey cpu wake up you know getting it should have 1.5 volt line so but there is no 1.5 line rest of the mechanism is working but cpu is not starting up you know so now we have to find if we could find uh, any short on that line or uh, where should we start but now we know that uh, pp VCC underscore CPU SO line is not present. So let's start from here. So this is, um, oh sorry, I have to go back, I think. Where is it? Rails. Okay, here. So this is PPVCC main underscore PPVCC. Uh, I copied it so let's put it like this so now what I'm doing now I have to check if I any component on the, I'm trying to find a component on the this is going to the CPU PPVC main and okay so see these are all the capacitors which are on CPU VCC line and let's see if we find out if there is a short so let's try with C1000 okay C1000 and search C1000 is located here so now we will look at this C1000 and then we will check so i will get you here now c1000 so this is on the other side so at the same time i'm looking here as well c1000 okay c1000 which is trying to find okay let's get you under the microscope here so C1000 is, okay, 
so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find so this is I will put this in continuity mode I think you can hear the beep so C1000 is let me check where exactly it's located so these are one two so this is C1000 here yep that's the one so I have to check in continuity mode if uh, so can you hear the beep guys so this C1000 which is this one here so it has got a beep that means on capacitor it should not beep so that means there is a short on this line which we have to first of all if you are lucky enough you can examine the board under the microscope or with visual inspection if we can find uh, if there is any capstar which we find is um, you know burnt or faulty that is will make uh, this uh, repair easy otherwise you know we have to try some other methods maybe freeze method or thermal camera find out where the short is so first of all I would like to look at under the microscope and you see if we can find any damaged capacitor or any damaged component or burnt component uh, which we will get a hint so I'm just trying to examine this board now it hasn't been to ultrasonic clean yet I would not recommend to ultrasonic clean the board before you inspect it because ultrasonic clean will wash all the traces uh, which you can see physically and maybe makes your repair a little bit you know easier so the other side that side of the board looks okay to me can you see a little bit of mark Little bit of uh, should be okay. I can't find anything which I see is okay. Yeah, do you see, guys? This okay. See, this is like sort of moisture, and if I zoom in a little bit more here there is something which is sort of flux lying here and I see let's see what part it is this is just by the CPU okay let's me open the board view here and that is on the other side of the board and maybe one of them here this looks like this capacitor C7314 this is and yep there's the capacitor there so this one is I think that's the one C7324 which I have seen a little bit of this mark here I will show you again okay where is it here so the next thing I will be doing, I'm quite sure, are you still, uh, let's look here again. Okay, um, so this one is C7324, C7324, okay, let's look here, C7324, which is this one here. Okay, this is 33 UF, and this is uh, important, it says critical here. So let's see now. I will go back here and microscope. Let's check the fee. It, it sounds like it's shorted. So this is a cap which should not be beep, but it's beeping. Hmm. Interesting. check what resistance it is okay.
okay very low resistance so the next thing will be visual inspection where we see that um, that critical capstar is shorted so the next thing we'll be doing is uh, removing the capstars and see if the shot is relieved or not so i always put um, heat resist tape on the sensitive component like this one is uh, cpu and uh, this here is where the ram is because you never know you know so it says uh, be safe then sorry anyway so we will remove this and by the looks of it it might be the this capacitor which is causing the problem but you never know okay, maybe i can zoom you in a little bit should i okay let's try zoom you in okay so that you can see what i'm doing let's a little bit here and more a bit more yeah looks okay yeah okay so this is the capacitor i will be removing here Uh, quite a big capstar so I don't think uh, no the next thing I have to also check if I have got the same board so that um, but let's see we don't know first thing we have to look at if by removing this capstar if the shot is relieved or not if not then keep looking but because of um, that moisture mark there, this is my biggest suspect. Oh my god, this is should come out now. Come on, man. Okay, in this case, I don't want to give it more heat. So, what I will do, I will just put low melt. let it a little bit of here okay. so that I can take it out easily otherwise sometimes they are hard to melt big thermal mass on these um, these boards so maybe a little bit more relax Hopefully it should come out now. Come on, good boy. Okay. So, this is out, see, it's quite big type of stuff. And it's, it says on the semantic diagram it's critical. So the next thing I will be doing is, what, you tell me check if the yep haha uh -huh. do you see guys oh okay okay so the so the shot is relieved that was the faulty part and now once it's here I will come on so yeah okay turn out to be easy repair so now the next thing is um, i have to look for if i have got the same board where i can remove the same capstar if i do not have the same board then i will look for the same component on the other board which we can search from the um, semantic diagram but anyway i will have a look if we've got the same board 
so we, I find one door which is here and then I will remove it from here so what I'm gonna do, do what okay let's uh, Oh yes, you can. So what I'm doing, I'm just marking because which way it will go anyway. So the next thing is I will put a little bit of... I'm quite sure this was the problem. Okay, I'll just uh, put a little bit of flux and uh, it. I have to put a little bit of heat resist tape here as well. Okay. Should I skip this little bit of video? Should I or should I not? Okay, let's mark. I usually, you know, skip this sort of little bit or so that you know if you are watching and uh, okay thank you okay, thank you okay i will put another one here because on this one um, there is a shield is already there for ramp so i'll just quickly remove it and it's um, Sunday, 9th of September 2020 and 4.05 p.m. on Sunday, we close 4 o'clock. So um, hopefully I will go home after fixing this. I will put this aside here and can you see okay yeah. this is the faulty one I will just remove it here I have to put a little bit of flux oh my god that's hot So done, and uh, I will. So I have to leave this board maybe for 10 minutes, it's pretty hot, and I will remove the heat resist tape as well. And um, hopefully, that should fix the problem, but you never know. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's put the and the DC jack do we have a light here? Oh, no light we got light okay so yep as you can see It started working, fan is spinning now and then now the processor is getting it's hot so that means now the processor is waked up so it's all fixed now okay so 
So this was MacBook A1502, which is board number 82049 or uh, 4947 something. So that was, um, it was shot on uh, CPU line, which was relieved and it's all working now. If you have got any MacBook, which you think um, you went to your, your local repair shop and they told you it's not fixed, you can send it to us. I will send, um, um, I will put the link how to send your device to us. We are based in Hamilton, New Zealand, and we also offer logic board repair courses on electronics. So anyway, I will leave the link and thank you very much for watching. Bye. Yeah, but before we go, uh, let's check if it's, uh, we got the display or not, but you know, this is, um, the fan is spinning, that means uh, processor uh, is now alive. So, but let's uh, put the board back uh, from here. Okay, and see how it goes actually. Which way would it go? Let's maybe put the disinject first. Maybe my chair is crying all the time. Maybe I'm heavy. I'm just uh, 10 kg more than I should weigh. I should weigh actually 80 kg but i'm lying to this is the right no no this is the right one i think okay yeah, that is okay now quickly to do put the board back remove all these cables up because rest of the things may be one of technician will do they usually put it back for me so that I can move to the next repair quickly okay yep that looks okay to me no cable here remove this is it something underneath here no yep. sounds okay to me and I will put just one okay it's not lining up right yep now it is that's why to me it felt like maybe it is not sitting right anyway <coughs> to, 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 the fan here okay come on I'm not good at putting this flex cable back Okay, here and um, so that looks okay and it's just that rest of the cables I don't need at this stage it's just that maybe the battery 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 we can plug in and maybe the SSD <coughs> here you go Okay. I'm quite sure we will get the display. Okay. Come on. I don't need to. Oh yeah, sorry. I was, um, I was looking at the fan. Fan was not spinning, so I thought maybe it's not turning on. But in the meantime, as you can see, it just turned on. Okay, that's good. So time to go home now, guys. Um, again, thank you very much.
for watching video for more videos you can um, subscribe to our channel and um, thank you again bye